vlogging it up and today I made a few purchases which um, basically wrecked my wallet but it was worth it. I bought a Transformers Animated Starstream, a Transformers Animated Bulkhead, Transformers Animated Bumblebee, Transformers Animated Black Arachnia and Transformers Autobot Ratchet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to review each one, quick review, not, not a long review because uh, I wasn't really going to do a review at first because there's so many and I don't really have tape to go through each one into massive detail so I, so I said I'll do each one really fast, quick review and I'm going to start with Ratchet so I'm going to start my review with Ratchet because Ratchet is my favourite from uh, Transformers Animated along with Prowl but they didn't have Prowl in the store, the son of a bitches but anyway, I'm going to start off with a brief description of each character. I'm not going to go into too much detail. Uh, you got Ratchet on the front, Ratchet on the side. Um, Ratchet in his alt mode in here. I kind of wish it was in this robot mode because I find it easier going from robot to alt mode than alt mode to robot mode. You have his tools. And the back you see his robot mode, his alt mode. You've got his tools here. I think you can stick the tools in the back of his the back of them there. Uh, overall, really nice packaging. But uh, I just want to open the package up. Let's open it. So um, here's Ratchet in his alt mode. Very, very nice. Very accurate to TV show. Yep, there we go. And you get um, these tools with him, which I don't really care about. All I care about is Ratchet. Screw the tools or crap. Yeah. So I'm going to transform Ratchet and. I'll let you know what the robot mode is like. This is Ratchet in his robot mode, which is absolutely fantastic. I love it. Only major complaint is in the show, his uh, magnets is one of the most distinctive things about the character. It's his main weapon, and instead of the weapon, oh, instead of weapon, instead of the magnets, you get this. Now, this looks nothing like the weapons he uses in the show. <laughs> Weird. But, besides that, awesome character. The front here uh, is a bit hard to transform. It's a bit of a fiddle. But, great character. 8 out of 10. So, my next review is of Starscream, my favorite Decepticon ever. Um, you can tell it's a really nice box. He looks really, really cool from what I can tell so far. So I'm going to open him up and see what he's like. Aren't these like the most goddamn annoying things when opening a figure? Fuck! Starscream in his jet mode. Uh, definitely one of the best alt modes I've ever seen in a Transformer figure. Absolutely love it. Totally worth picking up just for a silent mode. Starstream in his robot mode, just as awesome as his alt mode. Uh, what I love about this character is, I don't think you can really see because of the light, but he has this cocky little evil look on his face, which I love, and it lights up due to the light in the background. Um, great detail. Beautiful figure. Uh, the only real problem is the waist can't come out at times. I wish there was like a um, waist movement in it, but <sighs> Hasbro, I applaud you. One of the best figures I have. 9 out of 10. So, next review is Bulkhead. There's his alt mode, which looks great so far. Got bulkhead on the side here. Um, here's bulkhead again. And the back it shows that his weapon is a ball and chain that uh, springs out. So I can't wait to open this up and check out that feature. Bulkhead in his alt mode. Looks great, exactly like the TV show. You can roll him along. And pretty much looks good. Love and alt mode. Okay, um, Hasbro, if you're watching, 
please, please, please start sorting out these diagrams because I don't understand some of them. So here's Buckhead in his robot mode. Really nice robot mode. Uh, only problem is... Alright, in the back of the box here, it shows the, bo the ball and chain. It kind of looks like it's spring-loaded, right? That's not the case, as we will see here. Alright, you, you ready for this? It's not even working, but it's a piece of string that pops out. So, besides the whole chain and ball thing, which I don't really mind it on a string, to be honest. It's a, I dig it. I like it. It's not Starscream awesome. It's not Ratchet awesome, but it's. Uh, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Also, I also got a paper cut. Uh, opening the box up so there is dangers to collecting figures so watch out in case you get a paper cut it's not nice Decepticon that turns into a tarantula awesome it's black arachnia she's looking cool she comes with a kind of a grappling hook she can hang off of I'm, I'm guessing so I'm gonna open her up and uh, see what it's like so here is Black Aratnia in her adult mode, which is a tarantula, looking cool, you get the little grapple thing here, you can hang her from places. <sighs> okay, so this is Black Aratnia in her robot slash organic mode. Really nice, and you could store her kind of web grappling gun thing uh, at the back here, but can also go on her hand as a weapon too. She is kind of delicate, and the, the arms and stuff at the back do kind of move around too easily, and it's the same with her head. Nice figure, really digger. Suppose I'll give her about 7.5 out of 10. Not a great robot organic mode as I wanted it to be, but her, 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 um, ant mode is way better than her. Robot slash organic mode. A cool figure, definitely worth getting. This is Transformers Animated Bumblebee. Uh, I've seen many reviews of him, and what I don't like about him is different shades of yellow, but uh, whatever. Uh, he does seem a bit too big uh, compared to the other Transformers, but again, I'll see what's like. Like at the end of this review, I'll match up all my Transformers to compare sizes. Uh, I do like the Stingers here. Which seems really cool. So I'm going to open them up and check them out. Alright, so Bumblebee in his alt mode. Really, really cool. Nifty little character. Uh, he got his little booster rockets there. Like from the episode. They can come off. The little shades, the different shades of yellow don't really bother me so much. Uh, yeah, we can move it also. Um, this is Transformers animated Bumblebee robot mode which I really really don't like. Um, like I don't have a problem when he's posing like this it's just for example um, you can't move his arms that much there's like you can move him up a small bit when his when stingers are in like this much and you can't really move them all too much, like you really gotta have the stingers out, which is the only thing, really thing I like about the figure and the head. Put them together. Again, there we go. Then his arms can move more, but when the stingers are down, he doesn't move that much. His legs are just clumpy and awkward. Really don't like him. Nice enough just posing him, but kind of moving around transforming him the bits tend to fall off a lot and it's just awkward figure I'll give him about 5 out of 10 okay starting with my favorite figure ending with my least favorite you got Starscream, Ratchet, Bulkhead, Black Arachnia and Bumblebee 
overall, I love these figures, especially Starscream and Ratchet. Bulkhead's cool, I like Bulkhead. Black Ratney is great as well. No, I just hate this Bumblebee. So thanks guys for um, watching my review of these figures. Brief review. And uh, if there is a couple of people out there wanting me to go into good detail on these figures, then I will do an in-depth review. So just give me, send some comments, mail, whatever. If I do get a few comments asking me to in-depth reviews, I will. So guys, thanks for watching and uh, I will see you soon. So, just a little update here, um, I transformed Bumblebee wrong, but you can move his arms more. My bad, and I kind of like him a bit better now, because I kind of played with him a bit more, but still not an amazing figure, but he's good. I gave him a 6.5 out of 10.